Hi boys and girls, Miss Williams back. Okay, so today we're going to read The Cat in the Hat. I thought it would be a good book to read today because it's kind of wet and gloomy outside, so we might not get to go outside and play like we normally do, okay? So the book today is The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house on that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And we said, how I wish I had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house. We did nothing at all. So all we could do was sit, sit, sit. And we did not like it. Not one bit. And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. We looked and we saw him step onto the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. I know some good games we could play to the cat. I know some new tricks of the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother won't mind at all if you do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell the cat in the hat that you do not want to play. We sh he should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Now, now, have no fear. Have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun that, if you wish with a game that I call Up, Up with a Fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on this ball with a book in one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. Look at me, look at me, said the cat with a cup and a cake on top of my hat. I can hold up two books, I can hold up a fish, and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up a cup and a milk and a cake, and I can hold up these books and a fish on a rake. I can hold up a toy ship and a little toy man, and look with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with my fan as I hop on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. That is what the cat said, and then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from there on the ball, and Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. Oh no. And our fish came down too, and he fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it. Not one bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this. Look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when your mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish to the pot. But I like it here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so the, said the cat in the hat, so, so, so. I will show you another good trick that I know. And then he ran out, and then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back with a box. A big red wood box that shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things. I will show them to you. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook. You will see something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one, and they ran out to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? 
And Sally and I did not know what to do, so we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, No, no, those things should not be in the house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and they gave them a pat. They are tame, also tame. They came to have fun. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet day. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in the house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump, all the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it. Not one bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, 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 bump down the hall. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the string of a kite, we saw Mother's new gown, her gown with dots that were pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, with big hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said I do not like the way that they play. If Mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then our fish said, look, look, and our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home, do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find it this way. So do something fast of the fish. Do you hear? I saw her. Your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can think of something to do, you will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net, and I said with my net, I could get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I could get those things yet. Then I let down my net, and it came down with a plop, and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say. You pack up those things, and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat, you did not like our games. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. And then who is back in the house? Why, the cat, have no fear of this mess of the cat in the hat. I always pick up my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the string and the books and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish and he put them away Then he said that is that and then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. You should tell her, should we tell her the things that went on here this day? Should we tell her about it? Now what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? The end. Boys and girls, what would you do if your mother asked you? Would you tell her all the fun that you had with the cat and the hat and thing one and thing two? So let's all remember that what the cat and the hat says. We always pick up our play things. So make sure that you're helping out your mom and dad and you're picking up your toys when you're done playing with them. Okay? So I really enjoyed reading the story to you today, and I'll be back here tomorrow, and we'll have our carpet time and a story tomorrow too, okay? I really miss you a lot. See you tomorrow.